So after suffering through an incredibly annoying ice level, we now have to suffer through a cave level in Chapter 6, Raid. So first off, who didn't see this coming? The guy shed that we just finished fucking rescuing has once again been recaptured. I completely and totally blame Ryu. So, you know, it's really not hard to capture her. She's wearing bright colors in a predominantly white landscape. She's left in a, like a large open place with nowhere to really hide. Enemies fucking everywhere. You know, no defense, no weapons, none of that. So the Shogun obviously had no fucking trouble finding her. He might as well have just handed her right over to the Shogun. But fortunately, he subscribes to the Bond villain method of villainy, where he doesn't kill people outright and instead keeps them around for later, and uses them as hostages and whatnot. This never fucking works, okay? If you ever want to become a villain, kill people when you have the chance. Otherwise, you're going to lament the fact that you didn't. Possibly while they're killing you. Alright, so once again, we have some discrepancies between gameplay and video. Everything is brown, it was white just like a second ago, and the cave entrance that was shown as being vertical is apparently horizontal. Yeah, not the newest thing here. This game really doesn't try to be consistent between each thing, but on the plus side, we're seeing some new enemy types that are a bit closer to the classic games, which is kind of cool. We've got some, you know, unusual, bizarre enemies, but they all look kind of weird, like it's a pregnant skeleton from the looks of things. I'm not sure what the fuck's going on there. And the big gimmick here is that we have this lava that's like moving up. And we have these fireballs that we have to outrun. The large shuriken that I'm using, absolute best weapon for taking those things out absolute best weapon. It does two points of damage every time it hits something, and as those enemies are two hit enemies, obviously it makes sense to use that. <laughs> yeah, that was a life pickup right there. Hell of a lot of Nimpo in this level, and I'm going to be exploiting that fact before too long, and they do refill your time meter a little bit between sections. Hell of a lot of Nimpo. Ah, oh, fuck. Here we have, like, a new enemy type. These bastards roll and they jump. Most often they'll just, you know, roll right over you, so... You don't actually have to worry too much about that. As long as you keep walking forward like that, they'll just go right over you. Here we have, like, a really annoying place. You cannot get through this without taking the hit. It's 100% totally the best way to get through. And, yeah, always try to take those out. Fortunately, you have more than adequate Nimpo. They do um, try to make you pick up other weapons because they're a lot more numerous than this one. Even though this is the one weapon that you really, really need to get through this level without dying a bunch of times. As always, try to make it a speed section. I should. This would probably also be a good opportunity to use the uh, special attack, but the problem is it's really hard to trigger for some reason. I'm guessing it could be because I'm using a controller that is different, or it could just be the game being a bastard. I'm not sure which, but in either case, it's really not worth the effort of trying to trigger that attack, especially because it consumes life meter. Alright, yet more lava. Uh, the movement is a little bit unusual. It goes up a lot, and then it goes down for just like a split second. Then it goes up again, then it repeats, but it goes down for a lot longer. And it isn't, it doesn't instantly kill you, but because of the way that a lot of the platforms are set up, it might as well be an instant kill because it's going to knock you back and into something. And this is one thing that I really fucking need. It's the uh, firewheel. I fucking exploit the hell out of this power-up. I absolutely love it. There's a little bit of a change in play styles between me and Hypnos. I tend to really exploit some tricks in order to get through the games, whereas he more or less plays them a bit more straight than I do. Fuck. This level is pretty goddamn long. Uh, 
So yeah, fuck yes, fire wheel. Shit. Okay, I'm doing a lot worse on this level than I thought I would. It just goes to show how quickly and easily this can go from really, really good to really, really bad. Just try to keep this up, and, you know, as long as you stockpile some of your Nimpo for exactly this purpose, you're going to be just fine. You don't have to worry about anything at all. Absolutely nothing at all. You can just run right through everything, and you'll get through. So here's the boss. Really, really easy boss. By far the easiest boss in the game. However, he's very time-consuming to fight. You pretty much have to be trying to die in order to actually die. Or, you know, you get caught by surprise the first time he comes down. Really, all you have to do is wait for him to go down, then you just slash him once, then run to the other end and scream. The only real way he could kill you is if you get hit by a spike and get knocked off into the uh, off the edge of the screen. So, that's really all that there is to worry about. Those spikes that come down, they only do one point of damage. So, as long as you're not getting hit every single time, you're going to get through no problem. And even if they do hit every single time, since you get off the first hit, he's still going to die before you will. So really, the only risk this boss poses is knocking you down through that hole. And as long as you know that he destroys the bridge the first time he goes through, you don't have to worry about that. So, you know, just keep this pattern up, this incredibly fucking boring pattern. Kill him, slash, 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 run, slash, run, slash, run. It's just, it's just, you know, repeat ad nauseum. Oh fuck, that's, that's slightly annoying, right there. Yeah, you don't want to get him, like, spawning right in the middle, because that will cause a lot of problems. You really want him to come down towards the sides. It makes the bridge that you can stand on much, much larger. It decreases the risk that you're going to get knocked off, and all that other stuff. Which is why you notice that I'm hugging the walls whenever he punches. Because I want him to come down right on top of me. Which he does, but the first hit doesn't actually injure you. It doesn't seem to cause damage until he's fully formed. Yeah, boring, boring fucking boss fight. I kind of wonder how a sword could damage him, but dropping into a lava can uh, doesn't. Like, that's somewhat confusing. You'd think that, you know, extremely boiling molten rock would actually be considerably more dangerous than, you know, a slight jab with a piece of steel. Or rather, a dragon bone. Ugh, oh, finally. This fucking boss. So fucking dull. So fucking dull. So fucking dull. So, he gets reduced to a pile of rocks. Apparently, nothing more than a stone statue. Yeah, all the enemies in this level are starting to get towards the unusual weird stuff that we that we were used to in the older games, which is kind of cool. So, that's it. Final level snacks. Fuck you on good night.